McDonald campus was actually started as McDonald College by Sir William McDonald, the tobacco magnate, in 1907. And he thought that rural uh, Quebecers needed a place where they could learn agriculture, where we could do agricultural research. Since then, McDonald College has become part of McGill University. It's now called McDonald Campus. The farm has changed a lot since 1907. Of course, it's modernized with a lot of state-of-the-art facilities, including our poultry complex, which was built in 2004. Uh, upgraded then, but we also have a dairy uh, complex where we milk 85 cows and we have a, a swine complex where we have uh, pigs for teaching and for research. As well we have 500 acres where we grow uh, corn and soybeans and all the crops to feed their cattle. In our poultry complex we have 3,200 laying hens. Our housing system is such that the birds have more room than is prescribed by the animal welfare uh, regulations. We want to make sure that our hens are healthy and comfortable and in good shape. Uh, and we keep only 3,200 hens because that's the total of our quota. Because we are a university, our prime focus is on teaching and on research. And we have a state-of-the-art facility in the Donald McQueen Shaver Poultry Complex, which was constructed in 2004. We also have, on the other side of our laying uh, facility, a place for broiler chickens, for meat chickens, and students do labs in there as well. Our grading station was put in place three years ago as part of a program called McGill Feeding McGill. McGill has a farm here at McDonald campus and it just made sense that since we're producing eggs, why wouldn't we be selling them to the cafeterias downtown where they feed thousands of McGill students every day. And so we grade approximately 8,000 to 9,000 dozen eggs every year, which about 40% of our production, which is sold directly downtown to McGill University. The eggs are graded here. Uh, by our technical staff as well as uh, students, so students learn how to do that and we transport them directly downtown. They're guaranteed two days fresh. Graded Tuesday and Wednesday, delivered Thursday. We're very fortunate in that we have a good partnership with Burnbury Farms. We are, by all intents and purposes, a small operator in the industry with only 3,200 laying hens. It suits our purposes, but Burnbury understands that sometimes we're not going to give them our full production because of our McGill feeding McGill egg grading uh, setup. Then we, we will do one collection uh, of eggs uh, about 8, 8.30 in the morning. Uh, the eggs come on a conveyor. It's an automatic conveyor, which I believe most farms have now. Um, they come automatically nice and slowly, the eggs are, are collected, the data is, is, is also collected, how much each row of, of hens has produced, and we can monitor their production to see if they're up or down. Part of our mandate here at McDonald Campus Farm is to engage the public and to show them how their food is produced. We're well situated here on the West Island, we're within half an hour of, or an hour of over a million people. So we do a number of things to, to bring the public, especially the urban public, to our farm. We do educational tours uh, in the spring and summer where school children come in and they get to see how an egg is produced, how milk is produced, where their food comes from. And we want them to remember just three things, that it is farmers who produce their food, that it is farmers who are taking care of the animals and farmers who are taking care of the, the environment, of the land where they're that constitutes their farm. A lot of our time here at McDonald Campus Farm is also spent teaching students. So we have students who come from farms, but not necessarily egg farms, who are interested and want to learn. So they take courses both in the diploma side and the degree side and do hands-on work in the, in the poultry complex. I'm really proud of what we do here and proud of the technicians and the students and the researchers who work in the complex.